Hello and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country Returns. This time we're close to the volcano with 7-1 foggy fumes in the factory. This is a nice returning world from the original Donkey Kong Country as far as I know. We see the last bit of the cliffs. But we're also in the fumes. Can't be very healthy, but I think Donkey Kong can handle that. Oh look, in the background there's a, a destroyed, well, kind of destroyed Donkey Kong arcade structure. And this level has even more um, smally sticks. The skull you see in the background, that's the skull of a mid-boss from uh, Super Metroid, I think. I, I really forgot his name. Something with Croc. Yeah, I think Croc. You find him down in North Air. But like way before Ridley. Also, what? Oh, I hope that wasn't a puzzle piece. I think it wasn't though. Because that's the next one. Also, Mr. Game and Watch. I really love this level. It's just packed full of retro easter eggs and, you know, good music. Of course, we'll have to watch it as to, so as to not fall into the fog. Ugh, okay. But as you can see, I'm... well, I can maneuver through the fog. Wait, wasn't there a puzzle piece there? I don't know if there was, because like, here's one. But I know that there's one in another section, later on, just like that. Oh, we gotta watch out for these electric things, they are quite nasty. Yeah, exactly. Uh. Okay. Uh, I don't know what's up there. I guess you have to blow away the cloud. There we go. That's uh, just a banana coin. One. Ah, oh, too bad. Right, let's open up the gate. And carefully continue onwards. Yeah. This is the section where there's a puzzle piece hidden in the fog. Or in the fumes, technically. You know, I think Donkey Kong might have just very serious breathing problems after this one. Wait, where is it? I can very much remember that I missed this one quite a few times. What? Yeah, damn it. Whoopsie, almost my trash can. Wait. Perhaps it wasn't even there. Perhaps it was somewhere else. I don't know. Also, there's a Nintendo Direct tomorrow. They just announced it. I won't be able to, you know, watch it instantly. Because I still have some stuff to do at that time. But, I'm really hoping for a new Donkey Kong game. Or even just a remake of this game. There it is! I told you there was one. I just had to put, uh, blow away the cloud. Ah, oh, I knew it. Oh, it's getting very much mean, uh, much meaner, because the electric pogo enemies do have oh, nasty hitboxes and weird attack patterns. I mean, they j literally just jump at you and I'm not able to predict how they're gonna jump, but oh hey, whatever. Oh, also, I should be a little more careful with that. I'm really interested in how this game would play if you had Funky Kong on your side. Okay, just wait it out. The that thing jumps to the other side. Wait. Now. See? That works. Now, I do have to be careful with this part, because there's gonna be these weird saw blade enemies every few seconds. But I think I'm fine. 
that's just a balloon. Whoa! Because you do have to jump a bit. That's number five. I think I missed one again. Whoa. No, wait, I might have. Oh shit. I forgot. Well, at least we don't spawn that far back. The thing is, you need to collect the G here. Donkey Kong, please just turn around. And get the puzzle piece here. And that's the seven puzzle piece. It's just hidden up there. So, now we just go over here. Check if we got everything. And activate the <laughs> ventilation system to instantly clear out all smog. Very nice. Oh, how I do love this level. So many nice easter eggs, so much stuff in the background and very good music and pretty decent level design for the first level of the factory. Like the entire factory is hidden under smog and you just remove it by finishing the level. Honestly, it's just a good idea. There we go. The entire factory is a bit more special, but I'll get to that later. First, we have to get through 7-2, Slam and Steel. And while this thing has a remix of Donkey Kong Country, uh, of a Donkey Kong Country soundtrack, I think the remix is just so much better. I mean, the Donkey Kong Country uh, music comes close, but you know, the more slightly more modern version is just that much better. Alright, let's see what we have to do. Uh, how do I even get up there? Oh, I just have to jump from that thing. So just walk back. And... Yep. That works. As you can see, the steel really is slamming. And if we aren't careful, it's gonna be slamming us into the wall, crushing all of our bones immediately. Somehow Donkey Kong can survive that once, so... Well, a few times actually. Ow. Also, we've got these little magnet flying things, flying magnet things. Come on! Also, in this section, I do like how the one chicken is just trying to outrun the uh, conveyor belt, and the other one's just running down it. Oh, I think there wasn't anything important though. We just got a puzzle piece. Of course, we have to be extremely careful not to A, fall down, and B, get squashed. But it's fairly easy to avoid the um, slamming things. Also, I'm noticing we're quite far down. We can see the trees again. Hmm. Whatever. I think we'll work our way up. Of course, we can't jump into the wall and expect to not fall into the void. Alright, that was important. Time to collect some banana. Okay. Collect some more. Collect even more. Come on, Donkey Kong. Alright. Well enough. Fair enough. Now I'm quite um, interested in what they're gonna announce at the direct. I mean, Pigman 4... Pigman? Really? No, Pigman... Uh, 4... You know, will be explored in greater detail, apparently. I won't speculate because I've never had any good, you know, experiences with speculation. Like in terms of video game predictions, it's just mostly wrong. And if it is right, then it's sometimes just leaked and that's just a bit annoying.
Oh, come on. Alright, we're already in the final section now. No, but I'm thinking they're not gonna announce... They're gonna... Oh no! Okay, that's completely fine. I would've jumped to the heart on accident. Yeah. Alright, so... Maybe they're gonna announce a bit more for the Pokemon Scarlet Violet DLC? I mean, that could be happening, but doesn't need to. Nice. Um, they may announce... I don't think they're gonna announce Tears of the Kingdom. It's only been like six weeks and the Complete Solution book has just been released. I bought that, by the way, because I just wanna finish the game at some point. Without the book, I've already gotten like 41% completion, but I think it's time that I finish that. And it's really a lot of stuff. There's so much marked on the map. There's like hundreds of thousands of collectibles. This might be like more than Donkey Kong Country 64. Uh, Donkey Kong 64. Donkey Kong Country 64. Yeah, Donkey Kong 64 is, I think. No, it's not the only game. Uh, not the only Donkey Kong game I've never played. I think I've played Donkey Kong Country Returns, Donkey Kong Country, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, yeah. I haven't played 2 and 3 yet, and 64 also not. I mean, I haven't finished it, I've played it. Alright, 7-3. Handy Hazards. So, essentially, what I think might be announced I mean, I'm hoping for Donkey Kong, of course, but I've been hoping for that for like the last few... I don't know how long. Last few... Three, maybe four directs. So I'm not too sure they're gonna actually announce one. Ow! No! Oh, that was close. Clutch gaming. <laughs> Just kidding. Things not looking. And he jumped off. No, oh, we've got a giant arm here. Hey, we saw that one too in Tropical Freeze. Right. In in my speedrun that probably no one watched, but I don't know. The thing is, not that many people are watching my videos, but I'm doing this for entertainment and my own fun. Yeah, cause that can happen at any point. This is neither a good guide. Okay, got it. Nor is it a speedrun, nor is it a, like, challenge let's play that lots of people do. It's just a playthrough. Honestly, it's a good old playthrough. Lots of people these days cut their videos together, but I don't have that time, you know, to just record over the course of a long time. Oh, right. I forgot that that puzzle piece was up there. That's fine. Whatever. I don't have that time. Alright, so again, of course, I'm hoping for that Donkey Kong game. And preferably not open world, because I really do like uh, the old Donkey Kong style, like this game, the 2D platformers with normal linear progression. And also, open world is really cool, but currently everyone's doing it, so. Yeah, no. It's not really. I mean, Tears of the Kingdom does it right. Kind of. I mean, it's just such an extremely vast world that... That's a lot of screws. Sorry. Um... Good thing I have Diddy Kong. Just so much stuff that it sometimes feels a bit overwhelming. That's why I bought the solution book. Like, I really need some help in collecting everything. Elsewise, I'll never finish that. Oh, damn it! I just wanted to jump over and get some more bananas got greedy and died. Anyhow, so yeah, as said, it's a bit much, but it's good still. It's still the game of the year nonetheless. What the f- why are they moving at different speeds? Oh. Okay, Donkey Kong? No, wait, I should blame myself. I, I play the game, not Donkey Kong. Yeah, come on, just jump. See, that works. I don't know why the platform is to be moving so quickly, but fine enough. Jump once, jump twice, onto the block, over the screws. 
Up, up, further up. I'm really questioning whether at some point I'll have to collect every of these collectibles over the hands. No, no, no! Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh! The hands are moving so quickly. Oh, you can just jump over here. But I don't have Diddy Kong and I really need him. Maybe I should just be a little more patient. Though, what I'm really interested in is if there's gonna be any more Smash Bros games. Because I've recently just played a bit of Smash Bros Ultimate. Like, not competitively or anything. But I've sank way too much time into this game. Oh, wait a second. One of these... <gasps> I forgot a puzzle piece at the very beginning, I think. Yeah, that's not gonna help me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back when I'm done with the level. Ow! Just smacked me with a block of screws or something like that. Okay, jump up, jump up. By the way, the item collection was worth literally nothing. Sorry for just failing so much. I really wanna talk about that direct today so I can just, you know. Yeah! What? Why? So I can get you some different content in this in these kind of videos. Not just me being like, oh yeah, this level is cool because the music is good or something like that. Alright, at least I reached a checkpoint. What? What? That's a puzzle piece as far as I can remember. Yeah, it was. Or maybe I haven't missed one, who knows. Yeah, I missed one and I know where it is. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna just quickly restart the level and play for it. So, I would like to know when the next Smash g if there's a next Smash game. I'd be quite, you know, I'd be content if there wasn't. I'd, I'd be okay with that. It's up here, by the way. There's some hidden stuff over all of these, but in the middle, uh, there's just this puzzle piece right here. Of course, the one with the elevators, cause the game wants to really piss me off. But at least it gives me like... Three balloons back, so I can just... Oh! Holy shit! I know I'm kind of trying to censor myself, but... That was... That was too close. That was too close. I was already down there. I was like, oh, yeah, I lost. And then I just barely made the jump and was like, holy garoni. That was insane. Okay, it was just pure luck, at, I'll admit it, but like, no, don't die here, please. We even got some more time for the next level. So, yeah, they're gonna announce something big outside of Pikmin, but I'm not sure what's gonna be. I don't know if we're gonna get a new Fire Emblem, because I think we've already got a new one this year. Zelda DLC is just a little short, I think. Like, we just... Tears of the Kingdom released just about six weeks ago. Ow! Wait, excuse me, I jumped on you. Get the f out of here. <laughs> okay, you know what? Just all of you unsubscribe if you want to. I'm this bad at video games, so... I mean, if you want to see me suffer, fine. Fine. But... <laughs> I thought it would be faster. I was like, okay, the platform's already there. I'm used to speedrunning sometimes, so I am quite reckless. And I think, yeah, it's gonna be fine. 
and it's not gonna be fine, so then I just die. Like, yeah, sure, mate. Okay, don't throw yourself into these things. Whoop, and up. See? That works. It can't be that hard, right? Well, if you like me saying, uh, if you liked seeing me die in this game, you're gonna like the level, next level much more. Cause Gear Getaway 7-4 is a rocket wear level. Very fun. First puzzle piece over here, collect seven. It's not as generous as like, oh, second one is here, fine. I think I missed that once, and the third one is just down here. <laughs> I think I missed that in the 3DS, in my 3DS playthrough, not on this channel, but in my most recent one, I just looked for this thing up and down, and then I was like, wait, did I check all the lamps? And then it was just in the second lamp, and I was like, oh, damn it, I was like half an hour on that. Yeah. But I'm not sure what they're gonna announce. We had a Fire Emblem this year, I th think. Um, I mean, they're not gonna announce more Xenoblade because we just had Xenoblade 3 last year, as far as I know. Splatoon DLC, probably? Because that's this summer. I mean, I can't believe that Splatoon 3 is actually out sometimes, but, you know, I have all <laughs> only gotten it and played it for the- Ow, fuck all. <clears throat> I didn't say anything, sorry. <laughs> I've only gotten it and played it for the story, like the other two Splatoon titles. I'm horrible at competitive games, except, uh, you know, I don't know what it is. I am bad at competitive Pokemon, I'm bad at competitive... I mean, I don't play competitive Fortnite. Honestly, I play Fortnite only because it's sometimes very funny to get some random teammates that you can actually talk to. They're not gonna be super weird, but that's quite rare. Also, my PC doesn't run anything higher than Fortnite on the lowest graphic settings, and most games... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> most games just do that to my PC. Like, they just go like, no, and then they just make it explode. Because my laptop... It might be a gaming laptop with an i7 core, but the i7 core is really old, it's like generation 4 or something, and even... Like, I considered getting a real PC, quote-unquote, but I decided against it because, you know, I don't want to spend that much money on all that stuff and my old laptop is working fine enough for studying activities, so I hope that wasn't a puzzle piece. It shouldn't have been, though. Oh, it's working fine enough for studying activities. That's a puzzle piece, though. And that's the end. Oh, I already got all puzzle pieces. We gotta look in the background here. Yeah, it's working fine enough for studying activities, and I don't want to buy a super expensive PC because these days everything is getting so much more expensive. I mean, like, literally, since everything is going up in price, I mean, recently, I think where I live, it's been going down a little. Oh, we are actually through. I still got one more level to go. In, like, time. In terms of time, I got one more level, so let's get it. But, still, if I want to buy something with an RTX 40X, I'm gonna pay a lot of money. And, you know, money is still a lot of money. Alright, 7-5, Cog Jog. Yeah, and even... <laughs> I saw the Ultimate PC with like 30 or 60... 32 or 64 four gigabytes of RAM, the newest RTX, like a 4090, an i9 core, which is, and, you know, various other absurd specs, which I think it costs like 3,000, 4,000 euros nearly. And like, that's absurd. I could never afford such a thing. Seriously though, I am not gonna buy like a PC to play video games on. And just to play video games on it for like a few thousand euros, seriously. Except if I, you know... Yeah, you have to work with the barrels a bit. Also, this theme is also a returning theme. 
<gasps> oh no! <sighs> that was so close. Yeah, these enemies are nasty. They can sometimes surprise take you by surprise. Oh, there's a heart. Nice. Thank you. Wah! But like, yeah, if I ever manage to, if I ever manage to gain so many subscribers that I can just, you know, I mean, I won't monetize my channel anyways, most likely, since I'm A, not gaining enough subscribers, and B, I'm probably not even turning, I'm gonna be turning off mid-roll ads when I get the chance to, cause, you know, I do know that ads piss off everyone, so I don't want to be the person who's like, oh yeah, I do. Do you like not seeing ads? Here, try out NordVPN, and then just goes, uh, and then I go and you know get sponsored or whatnot. I mean, that's not gonna happen because let's play channels. I mean, I don't get sponsored by anyone, so but I have like 300 subs. <laughs> Anyhow, that's not a point. But like, I'm not gonna earn money with YouTube. So if I ever have enough subscribers to earn some, I'd probably just put on one ad in the beginning of the video that goes like five seconds and not much more. I mean, I can probably hardly control that because YouTube's gonna shove like two 20 second unskippable ads down your throat when I turn that on. And I've already seen ads on some of my more popular videos for some apparent reason. I don't know why. I didn't- oh I didn't want them there. I didn't agree to have ads on my channel, yet YouTube still puts them there because they make money off of them. I can't profit off of that because I don't have enough for the monetization, but you know, it's fine. I'm sure... I'm sure this is gonna go well if I jump on this very slow platform. Just kidding. I'm sure this is gonna go well. And by the way, this O, you should get it before checking the checkpoint, because if you get it behind... After that, and die, you have to get it every time all over again. I think I have to carry that with me. No, but seriously. What? Excuse me? How did that not hit? Yeah, now I have to crush. I have to go down again. Yay! Fun! I'm gonna just take the Diddy Kong barrel as a, like, Kind of back up. Oh, you know what? Let me just throw that away. Not get hit by this guy. Why? What the fuck? Game, what is wrong with you? You just. It just pushed me into the fireball. I dropped the barrel. Not even on purpose. <laughs> yeah, and there goes my time and my patience. Nah, just kidding. But seriously, I would only buy a real gaming PC if I had the money for it and I didn't, you know, need money for anything else at that point. And since I don't like spending too much money on anything I don't need, it's just, you know, if I don't need the PC, I won't buy it for like a quite a while. And the thing is, if I buy, uh, I don't know, the newest specs for like 4,000 euros, and then I just get unlucky and the next series of whatnot releases in like 2025 I think I don't know releases in like 2025 so then it just you know tells me oh yeah you spend another 2000 euros on getting the next generation of gaming stuff all right plugged in a big plug into the socket 50 billion volts and a few hundred thousand amperes you know, they always say it's not the voltage that kills you, it's the amperes, but nee, I wouldn't say that. I mean, I'm not a physician, I'm not a, a physic physicist? Yeah, it's physicist. Physician is someone who researches the human body, or, you know, medical professional. Oh, something up there. Uh, can I blast? Yeah, I can just jump from these platforms. No, I'm not a physicist, but since uh, voltage defines the uh, potential difference, so the affinity for e electrons, I think, or for generally charges to flow from one position to another, which is generally electrons in metal uh, conductors, 
then that means the higher the potential difference, the higher the affinity for electrons to flow through the um, conductor. I just have to think of the word again. Great. Short-term <laughs> short memories are apparently impaired. I don't even drink alcohol or anything. Whatever, I'm not on top of it. Anyhow, so the thing is, if you have a high enough voltage, it's gonna send, the higher the voltage, the higher the um, current sent through the um, conductor. This can be easily tested, not in real life, no, theoretically of course only, by using the formula R, which is the resistance in ohm, equals u, which is voltage, in volt, duh, divided by i, which is current in ampere. So if you wanna have ampere, you wanna... what do you have to do to get ampere? It's... um... u divided by r. So i... so current equals so current equals... I missed one puzzle piece again. Ah, oh, I fucking... I'll get it. While I'm still trying to calculate what... how to explain this to you. But, essentially, U... If uh, resistance equals current... Uh, voltage divided by current, then current equals voltage divided by resistance. Yeah, that's correct. So the higher your voltage, then your higher the then the higher your current, and the deadlier it is. This is why it's so important to not stick a fucking fork a fork in the socket, like a complete numpty. <laughs> Sorry if that offended anyone, but it should be pretty common knowledge that you should not stick metal objects either in the microwave or in the fucking socket. I don't know if it's socket or outlet. I don't know if that's even like a British American, a British English, American English thing. Just like, I don't know, color being spelled with O U for the second O instead of just O for American English. <laughs> just instantly reminds me of that one, uh, one extremely dumb meme when Connect 4 became a meme somehow and there was a variation of it called Connect Fork to the fucking socket and I found it hilarious for in inexplicable reasons but who knows anyhow so technically it is the um, current that kills sure that's what's actually killing you but the higher your voltage the higher your current uh, cause Assuming that your resistance, meaning your body, stays the same, the resistance of your body doesn't increase proportional to like the voltage, which would be very weird because then you'd literally have to wear like wood armor or something like that. I mean, there's some unconductive materials like, I don't know, dry wood, but that could catch a spark and then catch fire, so I wouldn't recommend it. I, I wouldn't. Shut up. I would really not recommend that. Um, I don't know, just don't don't plug a fork or anything into the socket. Just don't touch the socket except for your, um, you know, plug. When you need to charge your phone. Like when you plug in your phone charger or whatnot. Elsewise, just don't touch the fucking socket, okay? I don't know how this episode went from, like... Uh, oh yeah, Nintendo Direct coming soon. To don't put your... Uh, don't put a fork in the socket in like 20 minutes and I also overdo I don't know how to say it uh, I made the episode too long let's just put it like that all right nearly done we just I just need to find that one more puzzle piece I don't know where it might be oh wait um uh. No, it's not up here. What? 
I mean, I already checked up here, and there was one. Wasn't there one on the chain side? I'm gonna go down here, there's nothing here. Hold on, I'm gonna check up here. I'm so sure I missed one. No, wait, I already checked up here. <sighs> Damn. It's gonna cause me some problem. If the voltage grows. This um, has a part in, you know, killing. The higher the voltage, higher the current, if your resistance is equal. And thus. We activated a few lights. And thus, the deadlier. Alright, that was a weird tent. We got from Nintendo Direct to missing a few pu uh, to dying like 10 times, to missing puzzle pieces, to about what really kills you. Hope you still. I mean, how early you guys, anyways, but enjoyed the little part, so. And I'll see you next time when we'll be playing. Stay healthy, stay safe. Bye.